I'm hoping. But until then, at the broadcast bungalow, we have Phyllis Head, our old, not, not, hey, hey uh, our long term friend. Watch it. Oh, I'm, on, I'm in trouble with Phyllis Head again. Uh, community Outreach Coordinator at Tanner's Get Healthy Live Well. Yes. And Pastor Stephen Allen. That's Stephen with a PH, please. That is correct. Thank you. Of uh, Tabernacle Baptist Church. We're going to talk about Hoops for Health Basketball Challenge, Woo! hence our music this morning. Because our producer, he's on it, man. He's on it. Oh, way to go. All right. So uh, what's there to know, guys? What's going on? Who, what, when, where, how? Hey, Tabernacle Baptist Church and Get Healthy, Live Well are hosting, along with the Faith-Based Coalition um, at Tanner Health System. Let's see. What do I call it appropriately? Um, She's reading the cheat sheet that Amanda gave her. Amanda's Hmm. here, too, by the way. Oh. The Live Well Coalition, Get Healthy Live Well Coalition. You have um, to look that fi- up. Well, I'm not That's sure. Kind of what you, you do, know, isn't it, Phyllis? golly <laughs> Moses, it's been it's tax day. Pay your taxes, people. You're hey, doing great. Can I borrow some money? Yeah, thank you. I, we'll I talk about that afterwards. Okay. Um, basketball challenge. <laughs> we did it last year. It was an absolute success. It was fun. It was a, a great time. Who was but, the guy? Who was the pastor? Who was here last year, and he called himself God's point guard. Bradley Bell. Bradley Bell. That's right. And he will be there. Will he? Uh, He will be there for the Hoops for Health. He has a new church. It is the Whosoever Will Christ-Centered Bible Church. And they're going to be sending a few players. They're not big enough quite yet to have a whole team. But you don't have to have a whole team. If you've got some players from the church that want to come in and join a a combined team, we can do that. So So you're saying that this is... An event open to the public. It is open to the public. Of course, the churches are kind of part of the coalition. They're making it happen. But really, this is much bigger than basketball. It's about community building. It's about bringing people together. There's plenty of fellowship. Uh, probably the most fun I had definitely wasn't in the game because we didn't do very well. But <laughs> it was being in the stands. After all that smack talk last year. Uh, listen, Bradley was bringing the smack talk. I was realistic <laughs> about our efforts. <laughs> Um, but the, the fellowship and the stands and the cheering, I mean, we just had a ball. And of course the pastor's exhibition is kind of like watching a bunch of uh, clowns out there. So that's a lot of fun. First of all, tell us about the pastor's exhibition. What does that mean? So the pastor's exhibition game is, uh, I I won't say it's the highlight of it. Yeah, it 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 pretty much is. It's what brings the congregations (laughs) into watch and giggle. (laughs) So so the pastors from the different churches will come in and, uh, we have, you know, have a little basketball game. We usually have to take about two or three breaks during that game. There's no breaks <laughs> in the other games. It's but, a 10-minute game. Yeah. It wears those poor pastors out. They're they're fun to watch, though. <laughs> That's pretty fun. And, and there is something else you guys haven't even mentioned yet. And yes. I don't think we can mention it enough. Mm-hmm. Free food and drinks. Hey. That's right. Yeah, we'll have plenty of good food. Yeah, I was going to say, what kind of food? Tabernacle's grill team is coming out right. and doing some hot dogs and hamburgers, which everybody's, you know, that's that's the fun kind of food to if eat. they're grilled. But then the Cooking Matters team from uh, Get Healthy, Live Well will be making some really healthy sides to go with that. And, and, I, and I need to mention that the grilling team from Tabernacle Baptist Church is the defending Hallelujah Cup champs right now. They are. And so we'll be bringing the cup back to go home to the winner of this, but award-winning grill team. That's okay. right. The award, w- And they're going to be offering up some of their award-winning chicken skewers that they did at the uh, at the uh, tailgate. Um, tailgate party. Okay. So. What are these healthy sides that these guys are going to be making? You know, you never know. We're doing Cooking Matters all over the community right now, Cooking Matters classes. Okay, and what does they're, that mean? They're, well, we have uh, – Cooking Matters is a program where we go out into the community and we teach – right now specifically we're trying to teach – families um, with young children how to get their kids started in a healthy way. So we're teaching the parents of children from zero to five how to uh, make healthy, low-cost meals for their families. And then we send them home with a bag of food so um, to, to prepare for their family. And so some of those items are delicious they're absolutely delicious so and so we'll like, be doing some sides you're like blue apron on wheels kind of Ooh, that's, that's kind of like we that? are that, that should fancy. be a tagline that's pretty nice okay. yeah. all rights reserved like it, but yeah. let's use that yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wilson, all maybe not 2018 <laughs> 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 but but so to kind of let people know what kind of food they do, um, we'll have some sides from from the Cooking Matters recipes. You have ruined me forever, Phyllis Head. You want to know why? Why? Because whenever my beloved and I sit down with our delicious paleo meal, I look at my plate and I always say, 
we're eating a rainbow. Don't I, beloved? I know he's listening. He's <laughs> laughing right now. And I got that from you. Yes, eat a rainbow. That's what we want everybody to what do. What does that mean? All those healthy colors of fruits and vegetables. If you can get in five fruits and vegetables a day, um, it will really make you a much happier person all around. It'll make you healthy. Um, that's all you want to do. Okay. So a- anyway... <laughs> Pastor, Back she's going, ba- hello, uh, <laughs> basketball. So how did you guys, how did you guys make this connection that, hey, we should have a basketball tournament with all of the area preachers well, and, and pastors, etc. Yeah, and, and the congregations, of course, that's who really makes up these teams. But um, being part of the Get Healthy Live Well Coalition, uh, I've been here about 18 months, 19 months now when I first moved to Carrollton. And uh, this was the first place I really started getting connected in a fellowship with other pastors and this is just such a unique group uh, in diversity and denominational affiliation. I mean, I think it really embodies well what we're what we're trying to do as a body of Christ, which is to be one together. So we we started this last year, so 2017, the beginning of the year. We had uh, Southern Hills hosted a resolution run, and then after that, we had the basketball tournament. And we try to do these kind of quarterly events uh, where, again, these are about community building. It's about something bigger than ourselves. And, of course, physical fitness uh, is an important aspect. God's created us and uh, desires the best for us. Uh, and we want to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. So that's the physical part. So basketball tournament's a good way and to do it. smack talk. I, saw, I think I saw that in the Bible, too, didn't Yes, I? it's in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think David had some words for Goliath. Uh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> It oh. happens. <clears throat> I just made myself laugh. Oh, good job. I was laughing too. I remember when you were here last year, you were brand spanking new yeah. to the to the area. How's your your, your the intervening year treated it's, you? It's been great. You know, Carrollton and West Georgia, this whole area is a special place. It really is. And um, what do you mean? Okay, that sounds like Mr. Rogers. Is that, that yeah. <laughs> so tell me it's about It's a movie. beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> They're making a movie about him. I, I know. I can't wait to see. I can't. That. Wait. I, actually, like my Fred beloved Rogers. and I, we were we were waiting. We were watching Chap, waiting for Chappaquid to, uh-huh. to start, and then we saw the trailer for Mr. Rogers, mm-hmm. and we both sort of looked at each other, and we had tears in our eyes. Oh, he's Aww. it's a fascinating life story. I, 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 you know, I almost I teared up when I saw the trailer. Did you really? Too. I mean, just it's so nostalgic, but he's also just such a great guy. So. Right. Exactly. Anyway, so I won't play Mr. Rogers here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. So. A special place. It is, it is a special place, just in the sense of uh, the, the strength of the community, the, the commitment to excellence. And I think mm-hmm. that's what st- st- stood out to me with all these things. And Phyllis and her team do a great job with it, but also the other leaders that are um, on this group. Uh, Shannon Lovelady is one of the chairs. Who's the other? Is it Vince? Vincent Dorsch? Or is it of the Richard good, Dobbs? Richard Dobbs. Vincent used to be. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, what yeah, are we talking for, about? Uh, the the get chairs healthy, live, of the coalition. The chairs of the coalition. Okay. Of the Get Healthy Live Well Coalition. Mm-hmm. Just great leadership from those guys mm-hmm. and, and from the community at large. So um, it's been fun just to be a part of, and uh, it's been an exciting time. Okay, so um, it does sound like fun. I mean, I already mentioned the free food and drinks, but I don't know if we can. It's a blast. And we also have activities for children of all ages so that if you want to come and watch the game and kind of send your children off to play, we're going to have the nursing students at University of West Georgia come and help us. So we'll have tons of those out there playing with the kids. They may take them outside depending on the weather, play with them there. We'll also have a children's health exhibit. Um, which has lots of fun little games and exhibits that they can play that kind of bring to mind health. Give me an example. Of Uh, the children's health exhibit, we have a Rethink Your Drink exhibit, and they get to decide. They line up all the drinks according to how much sugar they have. Mm. You know, all these great health drinks or a Coke or that that Southern Staple sweet tea. They try to decide which which has the most sugar, which has the least, and uh, what's best for you to drink. Is there a shocking um, revelation that they just... Yeah, pretty much everything huh. but water's, you know, loaded with sugar. <laughs> Unless it's sugar-free drinks. But, um, you know, it th- they find out some fun things. There are also activities they do. They have the, the, it's not gambling, so we can do it at church, but they have the fitness dice where you throw those dice out and they land on a number and an activity. So you might roll 12 and push-ups. And so you have to do 12, 12 push-ups. push-ups. But, uh, I so they that played... kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sell yourself short. You got that. <laughs> I see those Lyra. arms. You know, yeah, a lot of protein right. with that paleo. And You're you, strong. And you can uh, you can tell if, if uh, by the way, I should have said at the top of the show that we are on Facebook Live right now. Uh-oh. So it's I forgot. Talk- yeah, I did too. <laughs> I'm too busy. Hey. Yeah. Anyway, so it's um, 
News Talk, News Talk 1330 WLBB, that's the name. That's the one. So we're going to take a 60-second uh, timeout, and when we get back, more from Pastor Stephen and St. <laughs> <Saint Phyllis. laughs> <Saint Phyllis>. No, <laughs> Pastor Stephen is my pastor. He knows better. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> well, we'll find out about that, too. We'll, we'll be right back. Stick around. At Tanner, we're advancing health throughout West Georgia and East Alabama because we know that exceptional care isn't based on how many patients we serve, but how well we serve them. That's why we're focused on quality, delivering the best possible care for our patients. It's why we're expanding our clinical services and building new facilities to serve our growing community. And it's why we're looking beyond our hospitals and medical practices to develop sustainable wellness and preventive health programs in our region. What makes a hospital great has changed. It's not how many beds we have. It's how well we care for the neighbors who need them. Delivering the right care to every patient, every time, is how Tanner is advancing health with medicine beyond measure. Learn more at Tanner.org or find a physician on our medical staff by calling 770-214-CARE. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're laughing. I just said something really stupid off the air. Uh, you won't be surprised. I'm not going to tell you what it was. But anyway, this is Lori Wilson, everybody, and welcome to Community Voice. Uh, we're still here. This happens every time Phyllis Head is in the broadcast bungalow. No. Oh, yeah. No. We, we, we go off topic a lot. And we also have Pastor Stephen Allen of Tabernacle Baptist Church. Good morning again. Thank you for staying. He tried to escape during... They the... locked the doors on us. That's so right. We're stuck. <laughs> but his hands are bleeding a little bit from bang, banging on the door. <laughs> Let me out of here. Okay, so we're talking about the Hoops for Health basketball t- challenge. Phyllis, what have we not yet covered? Well, it, it's this year it's called the Ronnie R. Young Memorial Hoops for Health basketball challenge. Um, Ronnie Young was a huge part of our community, and last year he really... Um, helped to facilitate pulling this whole event together. He used to be the, the, the head of the rec department in Carrollton for years and years, Carroll County, and um, was a member at Tabernacle Baptist Church, but pulled together the Hoops for Health, and we lost him this year. Uh-huh. He, you, yeah, you wanna... Ronnie was, had such a, a great impact on our church in a short time. In fact, last January we hired him as a, a recreation director, and so that's why he was involved in this tournament, and then... Um, in uh, early June last year, uh, we were actually getting ready for vacation Bible school. We were setting up chairs. Everything was great that morning. Went home and died of a massive heart attack. Instantaneously? And instantaneously. Mm-hmm. Just oh, fell, that's fell the way to go. Over. Yeah. Oh, and it was... It was I'm it so was, sorry. It was I'm so a, sorry you It was a hard him. time, but, but Ronnie's, uh, his legacies were so great. And, of course, mm-hmm. Becky, his wife, is still a great member of Tabernacle. And, um, but anyway... Uh, one conversation I had with Ronnie that, that was really powerful to kind of, I think, embodies a lot of what we're trying to do here was, like I said, recreation director for 35 years in Carrollton, and then he was uh, up in other areas before coming back. And when he came back and he was doing it at our church, the recreation director, I was having a conversation with him a few weeks into starting, and he was excited and bringing different activities together. And I said, Ronnie, how are you enjoying working here? And he said something very profound that I'll never forget. He said... Stephen, I've been doing this, you know, organizing recreation sports my whole life. And I realized that what I've been doing has been ministry all along. Okay. And it was just a really neat moment of, I think, revelation for him and also, again, just legacy building. So we're, we're proud to be able to honor Ronnie and uh, his, his legacy here in, in West Georgia. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm grateful that the coalition thought this was a good idea to name it after him. Will it always be named after him now? Uh, yes, as far as, you know, uh, yes. Well, I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had that conversation, but. I didn't know that was a hard I just question. assumed, yes. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, good. I, that, that sounds, I'm very, very sorry you guys lost him. Oh, it was a great loss for yeah. our church. He yeah. was doing some great work, so. Well, okay, so um, on that note, let's, I want to kind of shift it a little bit, if you don't mind. Oh, well, yeah. Let's remind people who are just joining us, Hoops for Health Basketball Challenge coming up. On the 28th? 28th, April 28th. Okay. So Saturday. I, okay. And uh, it, it says here on, uh, oh, cut it out. on my talking points. Yeah. 
uh, that you guys are going to comp- several churches going to compete for bragging rights and the Hallelujah Cup. During it's, it's sitting in my office right now. I'm just just throwing it out. There. I know really? you should have brought it. I didn't know we were going to be on Facebook it, Live, but the radio. radio. Does it yeah, look like this? We yeah. can use this. This is a Hallelujah. <laughs> it's like that, just a no, little bigger. It's big giant. Or... It's really big. <laughs> yeah. How did you win the hell? What does it take? Well, so for these different competitions that we have, the the winner of the competition gets the Hallelujah Cup. So. Shannon Love Lady in Southern Hills, they won the Bible Bowl, so good for them. But <laughs> uh, we won. Tabernacle Baptist Church was proud to take home the trophy for the tailgate we mentioned earlier and our cooking team. So this will be going home with somebody, probably not Tabernacle. Uh, last year, the defending champs. The defending this champs. year, a place of refuge mm-hmm. had a great basketball team. They slaughtered us. Um, so they took home last year the, the cup. Well, okay. So good luck with that. So you're you're fully prepared to lose the Hallelujah Cup. Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, I just we just know you've my, never seen him play basketball. <laughs> I'm in it for the exercise. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now you mentioned earlier that you've been here for 17 months. That's right. And uh, we met last year around this time. And I, I'm I'm interested in hearing about. Is this your first? position after seminary no i i served for um five years in texas while i was in seminary and then a little afterwards uh and then i served in northern virginia for three years before coming oh here. okay but also a pastor in, in those different places so tell us about seminary uh yes yeah, so seminary i went to george w truett theological seminary that's at baylor university george w truett okay theological seminary. he was a longtime pastor at first baptist church in dallas texas um very famous churchman Anyway, so the seminary at Baylor University is named after him, and so uh, all all three of my degrees are from Baylor. So I guess you can peg me in a hole as Baptist. Uh, and so anyway, um, <laughs> so seminary was a very formative time. The the, the name seminary literally refers to a seed bed. Mm-hmm. It's about planting seeds and a place to grow and to blossom. And uh, of course, there's many great seminaries uh, throughout the United States, all affiliated with different denominations. Um, but uh, the seminary was a challenging time. It's meant to kind of deconstruct. It's, it's not Sunday school advanced. It's meant to deconstruct your faith and then reconstruct it in a healthy way. So what are some of the courses that you took? Um, so uh, at Truett Seminary, uh, again, where I went, um, Texts and Traditions, there's three courses of that. So they, they Texan Traditions? T- t- <laughs> that would be awesome. I know. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> no, oh, texts. Texts, text. text, like ancient texts and, <laughs> and traditions. Okay. Yep. Um, and so <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, some seminaries you'll do systematic theology where you'll choose a certain area or you'll go over several different topics. And I did do a theology overview, but what I really liked about uh, Truett is we did a history historical theological perspective so you cover from mm-hmm. a certain period to a certain period and then each one's broken down that way um, and of course you take uh, different surveys uh, of, the, of the scripture scripts one two three four covering different sections of the bible uh, languages greek and hebrew so that you can translate from the original texts not texans <laughs> you can <laughs> translate texans yeah uh, and, and then that sounds pra- so cool. practical theology uh life and work in the pastor and things like that just sort of a day in the life kind of preparing you for yeah so it's about a, my my degree is a master's of divinity uh that's about a three year it's about a three to four year program it's 93 hours they call those mdivs right? M- mdivs that's what the cool kids call them yeah, <laughs> that's right so um you said something about breaking down your yeah. faith or something. Talk about that. I, I think it's important, you know, especially coming from uh, from the Baptist tradition in which, you know, we hold up to the importance of soul competency. That is, that is your decision and it's your beliefs. You know, this is certainly a heritage that we have. We all heard from somebody or heard some, from somebody, mm-hmm. but to make your faith your own. Uh, and seminary is intended to poke and prod, uh, to, to do serious academic rigorous work studying the Bible and understanding where it came from, what its origins are, and how we interact with it through the Holy Spirit. And so it is a rigorous uh, process, and it's a challenging process, and it's meant to do that, to sharpen your faith. Iron sharpens iron. Um, so a lot of people, some, some people, not a lot, but some people go to seminary just expecting, you know, Sunday school advanced. Mm-hmm. And, and there are probably some seminaries that are like that, but it's, it's not advisable in my opinion, because uh, if, or, or they'll do it because they're seeking and trying to find. It's probably not the best place to do it because we're taking a different angle to prepare ourselves for the rigors of what ministry life's going to look like afterwards. Can you speak some Hebrew for us? <laughs> Ruach, that's spirit. I, I can't actually speak anything too far 
And and when you study Hebrew, we it's Koine, Koine Greek and then kind of ancient Hebrew that we're studying. So it doesn't translate as well to modern translations. In fact, if you go try to read signs in Jerusalem, then it's all gibberish. Oh, okay. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it does translatable to the modern day. And then, of course, they teach you how to play basketball in, that's right. in a holy way. That's mm-hmm. an important aspect of it. Yeah, that's right. You know, um, Baylor's had some good women's basketball teams, and so we go <laughs> study the ins and outs of Kim Mulkey and what she does there. Yeah, That's really interesting. I'd like to do a whole show just on talking to you about seminary we could talk about it it's i think a good that would time. be yeah I, yeah i'm sorry it's usually well, look I, at the calendar after this okay <laughs> book him now so, uh, book him dano yeah that's right okay uh so phyllis uh Lori? let's see hi hi i'm sorry we we sort of took the hey that's off okay of i was fascinated i think so too you're also offering a six-week class series that's empowering families to transform their eating habits for life. That's right. How do you do that, man? You know, a lot of you don't know what you don't know. Um, we get these parents um, in, and we talk to them. There's so much fast food out there. Kids are so busy these days that parents are just grabbing what they can and, and running with it. Um, we show them how easy it is and how quickly they can make a home cooked meal that's full of fruits and vegetables and 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 low in, low low cost. I want to talk more about that, but um, we have to take another break. Oh, bye! Time goes so fast I know. when you're talking <laughs> basketball. Okay, so we're going to hear from Tanner. Get healthy, live well. Well, actually, Tanner Health System, and we'll be back in sixty seconds. So meet us there. At Tanner, we're advancing health throughout West Georgia and East Alabama. Because we know that exceptional care isn't based on how many patients we serve, but how well we serve them. That's why we're focused on quality, delivering the best possible care for our patients. It's why we're expanding our clinical services and building new facilities to serve our growing community. And it's why we're looking beyond our hospitals and medical practices to develop sustainable wellness and preventive health programs in our region. What makes a hospital great has changed. It's not how many beds we have. It's how well we care for the neighbors who need them. Delivering the right care to every patient, every time, is how Tanner is advancing health with medicine beyond measure. Learn more at Tanner.org or find a physician on our medical staff by calling 770-214-CARE. We're back, everybody. We're having the time of our lives in the broadcast bunker. Never dull moment. Bungalow. Uh, no, never dull moment, especially when you have Phyllis Head and um, Pastor Stephen Allen uh, talking about hoops for health. Uh, but before we went to the last break, you were talking, Phyllis, about how you bring um, nutritional knowledge to the community. Right. She's always got my back. She's my wingman. No. <laughs> hey, we're doing a, I'm, do, I'm teaching a cooking matters class actually at Carrollton Elementary School because there is where you find parents of young children. So right now I'm teaching um, on Wednesdays. I go in in the afternoon and we actually cook um, uh, a meal and we sit down and eat it. And then I send them home with grocery bags um, so that they can prepare the meal we learned how to cook that very day for their families. How many kids are in each It's class? actually for the parents. It's not for the kids. We're not teaching the kids to cook. That, that we have oh, Cooking Matters classes for, okay. for kids and young adults. And we've taught them at um, Tabernacle. I think last year they did several several classes. Um uh, so, and we're actually doing one at Tabernacle that starts this Thursday. Um, so that's right. So if you want to sign up to learn how to prepare those healthy meals, go to gethealthylivewell.org or call 770-214-CARE. Um, and you can sign up for a Cooking Matters class. They're starting at Tabernacle on Thursday. What are some of the meals that you prepare? Oh, we do a healthy chili that's got, you know, hidden carrots and veggies in them. Um, we do black bean quesadillas. Um, we do, or tortillas, I forget what we do. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. I made a spicy southwestern pumpkin soup with my group last week. Shut um, up. I think I'm doing the chili this week. Will you but, send me uh, that recipe, the pump, spicy pumpkin? Oh, it's yummy. And it's full of iron, and it's easy. It literally takes five minutes to put together. She hasn't Not said even. yes, however. Yes, I will fix okay. you. I will give you the recipe. I will make you a pot. Um, you heard it here. Um, it takes five minutes to put together, 
And there were kids at the last group meeting when we did the spicy pumpkin soup. They gobbled it down oh, with a goodness. whole wheat roll, by the way, a whole mm. grain roll, um, which parents think, oh, my kids won't eat those. If you put it in front of them and, you know. And make it cool. And don't yeah, make it if from the get-go you give them what's healthy, they eat it. That's what they're taught to eat. Wow, they they so follow cool. our example. That is so cool. So that class uh, is from for parents and guardians of children ages zero to five. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's happening and everything. Okay, let's. What haven't we covered that we need to cover before, in our very short time that remains, Pastor Steve? Well, I mean, I guess I'd piggyback off of one thing she said here, which is these cooking, the cooking matters classes, and just how influential those are. And you know, there's so many great opportunities in West Georgia to, to fight childhood hunger um, because that is a major issue that we, not just our community, but across the the country, we deal with that issue across the world. And, uh, you know, we have great places where people can get food. Like I said, mm-hmm. also at home, uh, places like uh, uh, Interdenominational Ministry, Open Hands, so, which is right downtown, oh, yeah. is a great place to get food. Of course, partners with the Atlanta Food Bank, uh, the Little Free Pantry. That's a great program around. Mm-hmm. So it's one thing to have these food available. It's another thing to learn how to cook them and to do it in a healthy fashion, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I, I'm grateful for what Phyllis and these guys are doing and the way they're challenging all this. In fact, I didn't tell you this, but I have lost 25 pounds since I've been here. Woo-hoo! And I really attribute a lot of that to the water challenge. I think really started uh-huh. on a good thing. What was that? Oh, just to only drink water? It was to just drink water and to drink a certain amount. And so I guess I'm I'm a small success story. Yay, that's a, a lot. That's a great. 25 pounds. Small. That's a great success story. Well, so there you go. Ooh, I'm going to have All to right. take your picture. Okay, well, in a bathing out. suit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's getting that. a little weird here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Check or maybe in a basketball outfit. How about that? No, no, no. On wanna, Saturday. If you want to see the, 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 the I was going to say leaner, meaner, but maybe you are mean on the basketball court. I don't know. Uh, Pastor Steve and Alan, uh, just hop on to Facebook Live. You've got three more, three more <laughs> minutes to see him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's, that's really good. So you guys are, oh, tell us some of the churches that are uh, going to be participating. Well, Antioch Missionary Baptist Church has a great right now these are the churches that have let me know they will be participating Tabernacle Baptist Antioch Missionary Baptist Church whosoever will Christ centered Bible Church um, Covenant Word a place of refuge are defending champs um, First Baptist of Carrollton First United Methodist of Carrollton I think will be be participating this year King's Chapel is another newcomer who's going to be participating. Um, Is and, Southern Hill signed up yet? Uh, they haven't gotten back to me, oh, so I'll talk to I'm later pretty today. sure that they've got a team okay. in the works. That's because they're uh, scared. Yeah. <laughs> mm, of who, Stephen? Who? Not of us, but of somebody <laughs> else. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure they'll be coming back this year. I haven't gotten the official word. So. I see. Um, I'm waiting for that from several more churches. Uh, last year, we, we had about 14 churches that were there unrepresented. So we're hoping to have more than that this year. What time does it start on the 28th? It's tip-off is 9 a.m. Tip-off. That would be kind of fun to just stop by and take a gander. It is. It's a blast. We invite you to. You should. Just stop on in and just poke your head in. It's great. Unintimidating and wonderful atmosphere. That's probably all I would do, too. Yeah. I'm not a people person, as you can see. And if you go to that Get Healthy Live Well Facebook page, what's that Get Healthy Live Well Facebook? Um, what's the Facebook page? Dot org. Dot org. Um, that's not the that. Facebook page, is it? I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> well, we're going to be doing Facebook lives all throughout the day. Oh, that'll be fun. So too. you'll get to see some of these preachers and hear them, you know, talk, give a little smack talk. We have one minute left. Why don't you give us a one minute, um, Sermon. He sermon. does those great. Oh, yeah. Only he never does one Emotional. minute. Trust oh, me. Oh, oh, oh man. Seconds, <laughs> oh, simply this is that the Lord loves you and he loves all of you and he desires an abundant life for you. And remember, whatever you're going through today, that the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus came so you can have life and have it abundantly. God doesn't desire for you to be suffering. He wants to offer you hope and a way out. And that's what he has through Jesus. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for being here, Phyllis. I've thank never, you for I've never us. seen you dumbstruck before, but I kind of like it. Every Sunday. <laughs> All right, everyone. I'll see you in 23 and a half hours. Until then, have a wonderful day, please. <laughs>